The article this group is presenting on is What Can Be Done About School Bullying? Linking Research to Educational Practice by Swearer, Espelage, Valancourt, and Hymel. This article focuses on ways in which schools can use different interventions to remedy bullying among students. The authors saw that those students who are bullied are more likely to be lower achieving or they might avoid school due to feeling unsafe. Therefore, bullying has an impact on academic achievement in schools. The authors also noticed that schools should address bullying or bystanders that allowed bullying to happen and how they were very much the norm for specific age groups. In order to curb bullying and promote a positive school environment, students needed interventions that catered to the roles they were taking part of. In addition, gender, ethnicity, and sexuality were contributing individual factors to those who were bullied. Unfortunately, the authors did not find much research that focused solely on those specifics, but they were able to gather that boys are more likely to be victims of physical abuse, students of color were less likely to report being bullied, and LGBT students were more likely to be bullied at school due to their sexuality. The authors found that there is a lack of common understanding in the definition of bullying and how to measure it. This makes bullying a difficult area to research and it does not allow for extensive duplicated research because situations and definitions vary. Many researchers are self-reporting of a bully or victim, which makes it more difficult to research and implement interventions without using interventions based on biased research. The authors saw that the that school-wide efforts for anti-bullying programs were not always effective. However, they noticed that having school-wide rules and discipline regarding bullying helped to curve bullying. They found that one reason why school-wide anti-bullying programs may not work because, is because they failed to include outside factors such as parents, family, and peers. The authors of this article stated that students' behavior is directly affected by the people around them or their social ecology. The authors maintain that this behavior may be a good indicator of students' future behavior, such as being a bully. With that in mind, the authors concluded that the best approach to anti-bullying programs in schools would be to use evidence-based programs. These programs would help curb bullying by reviewing a student's environment and other complex situations adopt programs to successfully address bullying.